We begin with section one of the high velocity IT course. In this section, we will focus on the high velocity nature of the digital enterprise. We will understand terms such as digital organization, high velocity IT, digital transformation, IT transformation, digital products, digital technology. Also understand when transformation to HVIT is desirable and feasible because certain organizations may not want to switch to HVIT. We will also understand the five high velocity IT objectives such as valuable investments, fast development, resilient operations, value co-creation and assured conformance. We begin our journey with the high velocity IT course and concepts. Firstly, let us understand what a digital organization is. A digital organization is one where digital technology enables them to do business significantly differently or do significantly different business. Please note these concepts very carefully because in the exam, you may have questions regarding application of these concepts or uh, examples which demonstrate the understanding of these concepts throughout the course that is. Digital organization is therefore a digitally enabled organization. Digital technology in such organizations is a significant enabler for internal processes, which means digital organizations require digital technologies. And such technologies are often part of their products and services, which enable their internal processes. And digital technology is also a strategic part of the business model in digital organizations. And this te digital technology is used for primary activities, not just the backend or supporting activities, which means digital is part of the culture. Let us look at some examples of digital organizations. You will find this under supporting materials in the uh, learning management system. A few examples, a company enabling online food ordering as part of their preferences meaning the customers may order food as per their preferences. For example, they may be able to select healthy options or Indian spicy food. Another example of a digital organization, a company enabling online cab booking as per the customer's preferences, like economy, premium, etc. A bank allowing, enabling a user to transfer money as part of their preferences. For example, instant transfer, delayed transfers. An airline allowing users to select flights and books and book tickets and organizations, customers support users, chatbots, or even response intelligently by applying cognitive or human recognition uh, technology, human language recognition technology that is. A stock broking company dealing in physical shares, applying artificial intelligence to predict stock prices for its customers. These are some good examples of digital organizations, which means in all these cases, use of digital technology has been done to do the business in a different way. So either do the different business in a different way or do a significantly different business. That is what a digital organization does, which means just saving data in a database does not make an organization di digital. This is just the use of IT or digital technology. Let us practice a sample question from the official Axelos sample question paper for HVIT. Question number one, a banking organization has moved the majority of its services online and is closing down its branch offices. What is this an example of? Digital organization, safety culture, high velocity IT or continuous delivery. Some of these terms have not been studied yet. So far we have studied only what A is, digital organization is. Is it A? Probably yes, because a digital organization is an organization that is enabled by digital technology to do business significantly differently or to do significantly different business. And if you look at the question, it mentions that the, the bank has moved most of its services online and closing down its branch offices, which is a significant way of doing business, uh, different way of doing business that is. 
Therefore, the answer would be most probably A. Let us look at the other options. Safety culture, this is different. It is about the shared beliefs, perceptions, and values that an organization fosters. So therefore, it is not about the use of technology. Safety culture is a climate in which people are comfortable being and expressing themselves. Option C, high velocity IT, which you will look at in a moment in this course. This type of change to HVIT is focused on business enablement in which speed is a consideration, but in the situation, there is no indication that speed is a consideration. High velocity IT is the application of digital technology for significant business enablement where time to market, time to customer, time to change and speed in general are crucial. Continuous delivery, that relates to how software is released. Continuous delivery means the built software can be released to production at any time, which means if there is continual, continual delivery, it can also maybe enable continuous deployment, which means automated deployments. Therefore, the correct answer here is A, digital organization. Let us continue the next concept, high velocity IT. It is the application of digital technology for significant business enablement, where speed is crucial. It is not restricted to fast development. High velocity is required from innovation through development and operations to actually realizing value, which means the speed is not just for development, but from the start until the end or in an ongoing basis. From innovation to development to operations and until the value is realized. Let us break it down into smaller parts. Time to market, time to customer, and time to change and speed are critical, not just for development, but for the complete value chain, innovation to value realization. Everything need not be high velocity, but customer facing usually should be. Each organization needs to have their own velocity as high is not always better. Some organizations may prefer to work at a slightly slower speed. Warranty should not be compromised for high velocity. Velocity comes with cost and risks, more so if it is a steep change. Some risks are taken consciously and some unconsciously, which means the faster an organization changes, the more the risks it will have. Other priorities, cultural changes, challenges of the cultural changes and investment return concerns may result in organization not opting for high velocity approach though it results in digital enablement. So it is possible that due to other priorities, challenges and concerns, an organization may not prefer to move to high velocity for some time until it is really necessary. 